Hello my viewers, I'm so delighted that you are watching my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Teacher Jonathan Musao. Today I want to take you through the topic of algebra and specifically uh, how to form and solve equations. For every orange Kipto gets, Onyango gets twice as many, while Dika gets four less than Onyango. 96 oranges were given to them. How many did Dinka get? So to tackle this question comfortably, the first thing is to write the people who are getting these oranges. We have Kipto. We have Onyango. We have Dinka. And then we have the total oranges they share. Then the next thing after that is to put the values according to the instructions. We have 96 oranges were given. That means the total was 96. Then we start with Kipto. For every orange Kipto gets, Onyango gets twice as many. So I look for the one who has less and it's Kipto. And I call Kipto X. I say let the number of oranges Keep tall got to be X. Remember the one who has less is the one who should be referred to as X. So I put keep tall is X. And for every orange he got, Onyango got twice. Twice means times two. So if he got X, Onyango got two X, meaning two times X. Meaning that value of X plus that value of X, which is just the same as 2X, twice X. Then, we are told, when Dinka got 4 less than Onyango, Dinka got 4 less than Onyango, so I get the value of Onyango, and I'm less 4. Some learners make a mistake, and they write this, 4 minus 2X. They less the nyango instead of lessing the 4. Remember, this is wrong. You get what Onyango got and you less 4. It is 4 you are lessing, not Onyango. So he got 4 less than Onyango. You write the value of Onyango, then you subtract 4. You less 4. You can see my 4 is negative. Then from there you form an equation which says Onyango, I mean keep tall plus Onyango, the value of Onyango, plus the value of Dinka, which is 2x minus 4, gives you 96. Then, after that, you put the like terms together, which gives you x plus 2x plus 2x, which is 5x minus 4, equals to 96. Then you continue until you get the value of x. Remember, once you get the value of x, we want the number of oranges which uh, Dinka got. So, uh, after you get the value of x, you come to that value of x you have got, you multiply it by 2 and you less 4 to get the value of Dinka. So, you continue here, get the value of x, then come with that value of x, multiply by 2, subtract or less 4 to get what Dinka got. In a kiosk, a pen costs twice as much as a pencil, and exercise book costs three times as much as the pen. Amina bought two pens for four shillings. She also bought two pencils and three exercise books. How much did she pay altogether? Just like I did in the other question, list the items. is the pen, the pencil, the exercise book, and the total cost. Then you go looking at this information, putting the information one by one until you are done with all of them. Then a pen costs twice as much as a pencil. In this case, the pencil is cheaper and it is the one we shall call X. We let its value or its cost to be X. So we say let the pencil be X. Let the cost 
of pencil be x. So where there is pencil, I put x. And the pen costs twice. Twice means two times of this. So it is 2x. And then we are told an exercise book costs three times as much as the pen. An exercise book will cost three times of this, of the pen. So it is three times the cost of the pen. And three times 2x is 6x. Then we come to the information below where we are told Amina, we write about Amina now here, what she bought. She bought two pens for four shillings. Four means the total cost. So meaning one pen was costing two shillings. I just divide by two. One pen was costing two shillings. Because she bought two pens for four shillings. So one pen will cost half of this, which is two shillings. And we know the cost of a pen up here is two x. So I form an equation here to say 2x, which is the cost of a pen, cost me 2 shillings. This will help me to know now what is the value of x. This is representing the value of the cost of a pen. It's 2x. And in reality, it is 2 shillings. Because we have been told two of them cost 4. So one of it cost 2 shillings. And then now that pen, which is 2x, it costs 2 shillings. So to get the value of x here, I divide by 2, I divide by 2. I get x equals to 1 shilling. So the value of x is 1 shilling. So this value of x will help us now to solve the other questions properly. For example, when we come to pencils, how many pencils did she buy? She bought Two pencils. And we know a pencil is represented by x. So this will be 2 times the value of x which you have got is 1 times 1. So it cost her 2 shillings to buy those pencils. Then we are told she bought 3 exercise books. And the cost of exercise book is 6x. So we multiply 3 times 6x. And we know the value of x is 1. So we say 3, the number of books she bought, and 1 book is 6 times the value of x, which is 1. So this gives us 18 shillings. Then we finish the question. By, ask, uh, by answering how much did she pay all together. Starting with the four pens, two pens she bought, the two pencils she bought, put together with the three exercise books she bought to give you the total cost. The length of the base of a triangle is 4x plus 6. The height is 5 centimeters. If the area of the triangle is 40 square centimeters, what is the actual length of the base? So the first thing to do is to draw the triangle, put the information, the base, the height, and also the area that you are given. Then the next thing is to use the formula of area of a triangle, which is half base times height. This is the one to help us to form an equation to know the value of x. Once we know the value of x, we shall be able to work out the real base uh, of the triangle. So I do something called substitution, putting the right values where they are supposed to be put. For example, I know the area is 40. I know the base. I put the base and I also put the height. 
as it says. So in the place of area, I put 40 square centimeters equals to half, I get the value of the base, which is 4x plus 6. Remember they are in bracket, meaning it's one thing. Multiplied by the height, which is 5 centimeters. These are also centimeters. When we are removing these brackets here, remember everything must be multiplied by half. That is why the question was tested. Because a cardinal can just multiply it half by 4x and think you are finished. These brackets means that whatever is in the bracket must be multiplied by half. So we get 40 is the same as, this cancels by 2, 1, by 2, 2x, plus by 2, 1 again, by 2, 3. Everything must be multiplied by that half to become 3, then times 5. Remember again at this step, this height must multiply the whole base again. So because it's base times height. So the whole of base is still this. So when I multiply by the height, I will not just multiply 3 by 5. I will multiply the whole base times 5, just the way I did here. I multiply the whole of whatever was here by half. Half by 4, I got 2x. Half by 6, I got 3. Now after I finish that, I have to multiply the whole base again by 5. So 40 equals to 5 times 2x, 10x. 5 times 3 plus 15. Now I've opened all the brackets. The next thing is to bring the like terms together. And the like terms is this and this one. So I take 15 on this side. I be left with 10x here. When it is a plus, when it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a minus. So I will have 40 minus 15 equals to 10x. Or you can write and start with 10x equals to 40 minus 15. It is the same thing, but it looks more easier to read it this way. Then to get now the value of x, I divide both sides. I subtract here first, I get 25. I divide both sides by 10. So I get x is 25 over 10. When you divide 25 over 10, you get it's 2 and a half. Because 25 over 10, you can even simplify first. You get by 5, 2, by 5, 5. 5 over 2 is the same as 2 and a half. It's like saying a half of 5. So our value of x is 2 and a half. Now we want to know the value of this base. And we have known x is two and a half. So we get four times this value we have got, then we add six to get the value of the base. Base we know it is four x plus six. So now to get it, we replace x with two and a half. And the four x means four times this value now. So it will be four times, change it to improper, times five over two. Then what you get, add six. I think you are going to finish from there to get the value of x. To get the base, not the value of x. This will give us the, uh, the value of the base because this was the value of x and now we use that value to get the base. Three cars, two matatus and a bus were used to transport pupils to an agricultural shop. Each car transported five pupils. Each matatu transported five times as many pupils as one car. The bus transported three times as many pupils as one matatu. What was the total number of pupils transported to the shore? Just like all the other questions I've done, list those vehicles here. We have the cars, the matatus, the bus, and the total and then we look for the information one by one making sure that we are very accurate we are told that uh, there were three cars 
and each car transported five pupils. So I just use one car transported five pupils. And then each matatu transported five times as many pupils as one car. Each of the matatu transported five times as many as this. So the matatu will be five times the value of what was transported by the car. So each matatu was transporting 25. So this is the value of one matatu. It was transporting five times what the car transported. Then the bus transported three times as many pupils as one matatu. The bus transported three times as many as the matatu. So three times the value of matatu. So each bus was carrying 75. Then the question is, what was the total number of pupils transported to the show? Remember, we have only done for one vehicle. So we now go back and say there were three cars. So one car carrying five, we multiply by three, we get they transported 15 pupils. Matatus were two. And each matatu transported 25. So we multiply by 2 to get what the matatus transported. And then the bus was there was only one bus, it was a bus. So here we don't do anything. That is the value of what was transported by the bus because it was only one bus. Then from there you are able to get the total number of pupils transported. Sadia bought three books and two pens. The cost of a book was half that of a pen. He paid a total of 45 shillings and 50 cents. What was the cost of the pen? To do this just like I've done in the other questions, I'll write the items. We have the pen, we have the book, and we have the total. And then we go filling the information very keenly. I'll use two methods, and in the first method I'll look between the pen and the book, which one is cheaper and use the one which is cheaper, I let it to be X. Then I'm told the cost of a book was half that of a pen. So in this case, the book is cheaper because it costs half of what the pen is costing. So if I let the book to be X in the first method and it is costing half the value of a pen, just before I tell you what the pen will cost, Let's assume that X is a value like 4 shillings. Let's assume the book was costing 4 shillings. And then I tell you this is the cost of the book. And this is half of what the pen is costing. So the pen must be costing twice this. So the pen must be costing 8 shillings. Because the book was half the value of the pen. And the 4 is half the value of 8. So in this case, to get the value of the pen, we multiply by 2 to get 2x. But if you don't get that way, I'll do the second method which you might understand better. So, he bought three books. We multiply by 3 to get 3x. He bought two pens. Multiply by 2 to get 4x. And the total cost of these items he bought was 45 shillings and 50 cents. So I put all these things together, the two of them, and I say they cost 45 shillings and 50 cents. So the pens plus the books cost him 45 shillings and 50 cents. So I put this together, it becomes 7 eggs. It's the same as 45 shillings and 50 cents. 
I divide by 7 to get the value of x. I'll use long division. 7 goes into 45 6 times because of 42. You get 3. Then we drop 5. And we put a point there because there is a point here. 7 goes into 35 5 times because of 35. So we add a 0 there. We get x equals to 6 shillings and 50 cents. Then we go back and look what was represented by x and it was the book. The book is the one we said let it be x. We had said let the book be x. So this x is for the value of the book and the examiner is asking what was the cost of the pen and the pen one pen is costing that value of x times two because we just want the value of one book i mean one pen the pen and x is x 6.5 and six shillings and 50 cents so two pens will be two times now this value which will be two times six shillings and 50 cents which you are able to do and get the answer method two I have the pen and the book and just as they say is what I will do most of you might understand this one better the pen the cost of a book was half that of a pen I will let the pen to be x and I say the book is half x because let the value of the cost of pen B X. So if the pen is X, then the book is half that, as we are told in the information. So it is half that value. And then he had bought three, two of those pens, which is two X, and he had bought three of those books, which is the same as three over two X, which is the same as one and a half X when you change this one to mixed number. So now I put together the two pens and the three books he bought. And I say the pen, the two pens were costing two X and the book was costing, the three books were costing one and a half X. And this gave us a total of 45 shillings and 50 cents. Then I say now three and a half x when I put together represents 45 shillings and 50 cents. This change to improper becomes seven over two x equals to 45 shillings and 50 cents. So to get the value of x, we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this. This 7, that 7 cancel each other. Then by 7, 1 by 7, we have just divided there and we got 650. Then we multiply 650 times 2 to give us the value of x. And in this one, there is nothing else we'll do because we have let the pen to be x. So that x we have got now is the answer we want. But in this case here, the x was representing the value of the book. So that is why after getting the value of x, we had to multiply by 2. Because in this case, its x was represented by the book. So pen was twice x. But here, the answer we get once we get the value of x. Remember, it is the pen that we have said it would be the value of x. It's the one represented by x. So the answer you get after multiplying this, 6.5 times 2 will be now the answer that you want. At a sports meeting, the number of women was 100. The number of boys was three times that of women and 80 more than that of men. The number of girls was 20 more than that of men. What was the total number of people at the meeting?
So in this question, we list again the people involved. As I've done here, we have men, women, girls, boys, and total. We go putting the information one by one, and we are told the number of women was 100, so that was specific. Women were 100. And then the statement below it says the number of boys was three times that of women. So boys were three times that of women. So boys will be three times women, which is 300. The sentence continues, and I've written it here for a reason. The number of boys was three times that of women, and I just want you to look at this word, 80 more than that of men. This and, which is a conjunction, is repeating, is replacing the number of boys. It should be replaced with boys. It's avoiding to repeat the number of boys. So it is the number of boys who are three times of women. And again, the boys are 80 more than men. So and is referring to the number of boys. This and here is in reference to the number of boys. So that conjunction was the one that was used to trick the learners. So when I say and 80 more than that of men. It is the boys who are 80 more than men. So I come to men. And the boys are the ones who are 80 more. So the number of men will be, you get the value of boys and subtract 80. The reason why we are subtracting 80 is because the statement here says the number of boys was three times that of men, women and 80 more than that of men. And I've told you and is in reference to the number of boys. So and is, uh, should be replaced with boys. The boys were 80 more than that of men. So this and was referring to the boys. So the boys are the ones who are more than the men. That's why I'm subtracting. It is not the men who are more, it is the boys. So the, uh, the men will be 220. Then I continue. The number of girls was 20 more than men. Girls was 20 more than men, which is 20, the value of men, to 20 plus 20. And then the last statement. Yeah, I've done. Actually, now from there, it is for you now to get the total number of people who attended the meeting. Having the number of men, having the number of women, having the number of uh, girls, and the number of boys, now you are able to get the total. And I just repeat, this conjunction is the one that was used to treat the learner. And it was referring to the number of boys. And they are the ones who were 80 more than men.